Yo guys, what is good? It is Ari Petru. You are watching Catch a Vibe Season. And today guys, we are finally gonna show you the apartment that we've been living in for the last few months. Now in this apartment, we have gone for that kind of like clean, minimalistic look, but obviously Natalie being a girl has put her own little glam twist on it. This apartment guys costs us about 2000 pounds every month. And I basically wanna show you what you can get for that price budget in London and at the end of the video guys as well make sure you stay tuned I'm gonna show you what this place used to look like because it did not used to look like this before me and Natalie put our own twist on it but nevertheless guys come in and check out our apartment Biatch! First thing I'm gonna show you is the man cave. Now I've already done a whole dedicated video on my man cave, but I'm just gonna give you a quick overview if you haven't. So if you follow me in this way, the man cave, as you can see. So here is where I do all my work. Here I have all my Supreme accessories, all my clothes, lots of my sneakers. So on this side, we have lots of shelves with all my Supreme accessories and stuff like that. We have all my sneakers in my crepe crates. Here we have my office space area, so I have like my little gaming setup. I have my computer, my Mac, where I edit all my videos. On this side of the room, we have my built-in wardrobes, which I have all my clothes. And as I said, a closet tour is on the way. So yeah, that is my man cave. Obviously, I don't wanna show you everything because I've already done a video on this room. And as I said, if you've missed it, do not miss it and go and watch that video. Anyway, next room. So in this room, this is where all of the love happens. <laughs> now this is our bedroom. We do not live in a mansion, but we have made it exactly how we want it. Can I do it? Even though we just did the bed. Oh. <laughs> Here we have our lovely king size bed. Now we used to have a super king size and I'm not very happy that we had to get a king size bed, but you wanted it because we wanted the two lamps. bedside tables, two lamps, everything to be all in line. Mm -hmm. Up there we have a nice like glass type of clock. We actually put that brick wallpaper up there ourselves. And on this side is Natalie's uh, built-in wardrobe. She's got lots of wardrobe space in here. And in here, this one is a complete dump. And Why not show and them? I use half of it. Why are you not gonna show them my wardrobe? That's yeah, show them, it's so nice and neat in there. Ah. Wow, look at these. Where did you get them from? Huh? The blog organization is key. My organization is definitely better than this. Okay, okay. On this side of the room, we have a flat screen TV. So when we're in bed, we have the TV at that perfect level. All the lights go around it. Sometimes when you're trying to get to sleep, it's quite annoying, so we turn it off. Before we go into the kitchen and the living area and stuff, let's just show you our nice little bathroom. And voila. It in looks really sh on camera. <laughs> So in here, it's like this nice like gray marble effect all over. Nice sink, lovely toilet. The toilet roll situation, we won't speak about it. But yeah, not too much. It is just a toilet at the end of the day, so. But it is quite nice. It is quite nice though, but it is still just a toilet. Now I'm gonna take you through like the living area slash kitchen, kind of like the main area of the living. So, through this door, we have like the living room slash living space and then on this side we have like the kitchen area so let's go through this side first on this side of the room we put like a big 70 inch tv on here obviously netflix youtube or one of those smart tvs that can basically do anything then we have like a hue strip underneath the tv so we can you know change the light any color depending on the vibe and the mood that we want to go for this is the l-shaped sofa that we went for how do you like it eh? 
can't stand the sofa if I'm Why? honest. I hate it. The material, like, it gets dirty super quick. We have a nice cool chandelier up here because when we originally got this place, there was like this awful light that came down and we didn't like it at all. So we scrapped that, put this nice chandelier right there. We have like a big mirror which I stole from my mum from like our original house. Right here we have an Atmos bare brick. I think it's a thousand percent bare brick. We have like a nice little glass table, some flowers, and then obviously this is the main drip. Cause light bulb. Bruh, this light bulb was like 300 pounds. Bit of a flex, bit of a flex, bit of a flex. <laughs> if this video gets 5,000 likes, we will reveal what is in this door because when you guys see what's in that door, okay. in self isolation, me and Natalie have literally been cooking like every day. Keeping it clean is definitely tricky because Natalie is so messy. That's not true. <laughs> Liar! Okay, okay. The kitchen is really nice. Like it's got like that marble kind of feel to it. It's just really clean. We don't have like a dining area or like a dinner table or anything like that in here. We just got these like cool like white stools. They were really cheap. I think it was like two for a hundred quid or something like that. And we eat on this countertop here. Fridge check because the self-isolation. What's this, babe? What? What, 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 what's this? Oh, cauliflower. I'm gonna eat it after we film this video. Okay. <laughs> Fridge check. We have literally been spending like 150 pounds on groceries every week. And because we're in self-isolation, one or two days, <laughs> the whole thing's gone. Cereal's gone, chocolate's gone, snacks gone, crisps are gone. Your boy's putting on some weight in self-isolation. So I'm we need here. to be doing those jumping jacks, some push-ups. <laughs> Stay active in the house. beginning of the video I wanted to show you some before and afters of what we actually did to this place because when we first got here it did not look like this at all so the first picture I have on the screen right now is actually this room this picture is this room so we did a few things firstly we took all the crap that was in here the horrible furniture the bed we didn't want obviously then all i did really was just dress it up i put some shelves in i put the crepe crates that you see behind me i got an l-shaped desk then all i had to do was just put some posters up on the wall the nano leaves really make a difference now the essential things that i changed about this room really didn't cost that much so if you're looking to move into a place whether it be in london or wherever the hell it may be don't just look at the pictures and go, oh, I hate it, I don't like it, oh, that's not the one. Because it might be the one. It might just cost you about a thousand, two thousand pounds to do it all up. And then it's your place, it's your home. And all you have to do is make sure that it is back to how you found it when you eventually leave. So the next room is the bedroom. Now, all we did here was basically just take out those ugly lights that are kind of dangling there. Obviously, we put our own bed, we put our own bedside table, some nice lamps, we changed the curtains. And that's it, put a TV on the wall and boom. Now the next picture right here actually looks okay to be honest, but when we actually came and looked at this apartment, it was way worse than this. They had some horrible furniture. They didn't even have a TV in here. The table there just kind of closes up the room, doesn't make it look like big and open. The sofa they had there was a bit horrible and then the stools, we just got white stools instead of black stools. If you're looking for an apartment, I know it is super stressful. It took us like four to five weeks to find this place. And initially I didn't even like it because I just kind of misjudged it. I was like, no, that's awful, that's ugly, we're gonna have to change this, change that. But really, it took us like two weeks to a month to change everything, to get everything we wanted in here, and now it's perfectly situated how we like it. Let me know in the comments down below if you think we did a good job or not, basically giving this whole place a makeover. Guys, this is what a £2,000 budget can get you in London, and you'll be looking at something like this. But guys, thank you so much for watching. It has been your boy Ari Petru. Hopefully you did enjoy the apartment as much as we love the apartment. We literally haven't left the house in like 10, 11 days and it is getting tough. It's definitely getting tough but we are super glad that our apartment feels like home and we feel comfortable in this apartment. But anyways guys, stay strong. Make sure you're staying at home. Wash your hands. Stay clean. Don't interact with your friends. Like literally I haven't been able to see my friends for nearly two weeks now which is getting difficult but it's just not worth taking the risk. So guys, please do stay at home. Do stay safe. Make sure you are following me on all my other social media channels. Instagram, YouTube, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, all of them. Just make sure you are following me on all social media platforms. It has been your boy Aaron Petru. Peace out.